Hey everybody, White Owl here, and today I'm going to be bringing a quick little video on how to safely and efficiently complete sprite worlds on really basic characters. Uh, in this example, I've got a really simple wizard. Uh, it's got some pretty, pretty okay Godlands tier items. Uh, two things you do want to make sure you have before attempting this are at least 14 defense, as well as, if possible, a decent-ish weapon. Uh, in this case I'm using the Avenger Staff, which does drop from a pink bag, so it should be readily accessible. So the first important step uh, of completing a Sprite World is going to be successfully finding a Sprite World. Now Sprite Worlds drop fairly consistently from native sprites, um, at least that's what I call them. I'm not actually sure what they're called. Little little white Spritelings that drop from the purple, or that are spawned rather the purple sprite gods in the godlands. So a pretty good strategy to finding these, especially if you're on a character that maybe can't quite handle the godlands all on its own, is to find a couple friends, uh, willingly or unwillingly, who will let you tag along until you do find a sprite world. Now generally speaking, you would like to go to a fuller realm, uh, group up with a couple people, and try to kill gods uh, while they're also killing gods, so you have, you have that safety in numbers buffer. So what I choose to do is meet up with a couple friends from the Night Owls, they help me find a Sprite World, and I headed in alone on my sole mission, not even a pet by my side. Uh, pets do make this whole process a lot easier, so if you have one, definitely do use one. And the first most important thing to keep in mind when you're running through a Sprite World is to take your time. Now if you rush in too fast into situations which you maybe shouldn't be rushing into, that's the only thing in a Sprite World that's going to kill you. Like in this, in this case, I walk into a room with two sprite gods, uh, and I take a good amount of damage. You, you don't want to be taking a good amount of damage. You want to you want to play it safe, uh, but definitely do kill these uh, the sprite gods that do spawn in sprite worlds. Uh, as opposed to the normal ones you encounter in the godlands, these actually do have an increased chance of dropping attack potions. So moving forward, uh, this dungeon and the real trick to this dungeon really comes into play once you reach the boss room. So we're just going to speed up through some footage here, and once we do get to the boss room, it'll slow back down. And there's one thing you want to do, once you get to the boss room, you just want to walk up and uh, just let let Lemon know that you're there. Uh, you just walk up, he'll start flashing green, and you want to back off as far away as you can get to him. Just hug a wall. And now he's going to shoot out seven of these circular, the, the radial kind of, the red shots. Uh, these don't hurt too much, but you don't want to avoid hitting them. And after he fires seven, he's going to spawn his elements. And his elements are where you want to sit. Uh, you want to sit right between them. You want to rotate so that you can see the damage that you're doing to him, and you kind of want to spell bomb while he's taking damage if you are on a wizard. Uh, otherwise, you always just want to stay between those on safe tiles. You want to be in a position where basically you're going to be hitting him and he's not going to be hitting you. Now, before his elements despawn and while, while he's still kind of dancing around, he can charge at you and he can deal damage, so maybe it might be worth it to be running back through the elements uh, when you can. Uh, generally speaking, though, he is just going to kind of be a bit sedated after after he's vulnerable. So he's going to shoot at seven more radial shots, then he's going to spawn the elements, and unfortunately I don't get a good pattern here on them. Uh, and I'm kind of stuck stuck on the movie tiles. Now, the moving, rather, not the movie tiles. Um, Lemon won't shoot in this phase unless there is a target for him within eight tiles. So if you count it out, that's barely... Uh, barely etching into those into that position where the elements are so you just kind of want to sit in a safe spot and if you can safe spot them and you get free damage in you're in a position where you're regenerating health as opposed to losing health and it's very difficult to to put yourself in a setting where you're going to die so just to reiterate one more time there's going to be seven red shots he's going to spawn his elements you're going to want to pick a tile to stand on where you're shooting him and he's not shooting you and then from there it's all easy. Now what happens at the end here is that as he gets lower and lower in health, his kind of sedated period after he despawns the elements gets shorter and shorter. So here he actually just kind of charges at me right away. Uh, being slowed by the blue element doesn't help, so I just kind of have to run, uh, run back off. You just want to get as much distance from him as you can, because once you get out of that range he's just going to go back to shooting those, those radial shots. Uh, he won't quite juice seven. Um, depending on how long he was chasing you for, but he's going to spawn those elements again. Uh, you just walk up, shoot him, and once he dies, those the lemon elements will despawn. Those those turrets are going to die. You can just get to walk up, pick up your loot, and that's everything. So thanks for watching, and until next time, W H Y T D L L.